Flower Girl Boy at the Wedding. By Sissy Tanya. As I sat at home, staring at my phone, I couldn't believe what I had just heard. My best girlfriend, Lisa, was getting married, and she had asked me to be there for her on her special day. Of course, I was over the moon about it, but then she dropped a bombshell on me, I had to be Paula, not Paul, for the occasion. You see, I have a secret, I'm a crossdresser. It's not something that I share with many people, but Lisa is one of the few who knows. She's always been so accepting and supportive of me, and for that, I'll be forever grateful. But now, she was asking me to take it a step further. To be honest, I was a little nervous. I had never dressed up in public before, let alone for a wedding. But then I thought about how much this day meant to Lisa, and I knew I couldn't let her down. So, I agreed to be Paula for the day. Lisa helped me pick out a beautiful dress, matching shoes, and even did my makeup for me. I looked in the mirror, and I couldn't believe it, I felt beautiful. More importantly, I felt like myself. As we arrived at the wedding, I was nervous about what everyone would think. But then Lisa's fiancé came over to us, and I could tell that he was genuinely happy to see me there. He gave me a hug and told me how beautiful I looked. I couldn't believe it. Throughout the day, I felt like I was living in a dream. I danced with Lisa, caught the bouquet, much to the delight of some of the other single ladies, and even got a kiss on the cheek from the groom. It was one of the best days of my life. As the night went on, I found myself catching the eye of the best man, a tall and handsome man named Jake. He kept glancing over at me as we all danced, and I could feel myself blushing every time our eyes met. At first, I was a little nervous about his attention. After all, I was still in my Paula persona, and I didn't want anyone to discover my secret. But as he approached me, I found myself drawn to him, unable to resist his charm. Hey there, Paula, he said, offering me his hand. You look absolutely stunning tonight. I smiled, feeling a warm flush spread through my body. Thank you, Jake. You look pretty dashing yourself. We danced together, moving to the beat of the music as we chatted and laughed. I found myself feeling more and more comfortable around him, as though we had known each other for years. As the night drew to a close, Jake walked me to my car, his hand resting gently on the small of my back. I hope I get to see you again, Paula, he said, his voice low and husky. I bit my lip, feeling a shiver run through my body at the thought of seeing him again. I would like that, I replied, my heart racing. As I drove home, I couldn't stop thinking about Jake and the way he had made me feel. For the first time in a long time, I felt alive, as though anything was possible. And even though I knew that I would have to reveal my true self to him eventually, I couldn't help but feel excited about the possibilities of what lay ahead. If you liked my story the please follow me on my YouTube channel at Sissitania18. I am always looking for friends accepting me for who I am. Yours Tanya